New Voices, the private TV channel making waves in China. Pushing the boundaries, how its reporters cover topics previously thought off limits. And the perils of popularity. If too many people watch, will the Chinese government intervene? Our subject in this program is a man who's changing the face of news in China. Liu Changle worked as a farmer, a laborer, and a colonel in the Chinese army before becoming a journalist. He then went on into the world of business before teaming up with Rupert Murdoch to beam revolutionary TV into China. Around the clock, 24-7. News and entertainment for Chinese audiences. Desire for news and information about the world. Hong Kong broadcaster Feng Huang or Phoenix Satellite Television has spread its wings across the border, where the Communist Party traditionally controls all media. Phoenix has zigzagged along through a range of difficulties beyond imagination. It's fortunate that we've stuck with a fundamental attitude. When we prepare news and commentary, we keep an active, well-intentioned and constructive attitude toward China's opening up and reform. Critics, though, still say that they do self-censor. Um, I think that's a given for, for anyone who's doing uh, media in China, but particularly uh, Chinese language uh, media. Uh, that's kind of the condition of access uh, to media in China. Uh, because again and again, the, the, the Communist Party has affirmed uh, that, that control of the media is, is the condition for, for entry. Uh, so that uh, isn't, uh, I, I don't think, is, is surprising. And as our contributors pointed out, competition from other TV companies within China will prove one of the biggest challenges for Phoenix going forward. Well, that's all from this edition of Focus Asia Business Leaders. Thanks for watching. I'm Karen Koh. Goodbye.